Good morning everyone, Boreda and welcome to Blackweir Bridge. Great delight last Wednesday when the bridge was reopened after a year's closure. Not closed as a precaution against Covid however, but conveniently it needed repairs. It provides a shortcut for students and workers between Gabalfa and Cateys to Pont Cana and Llandaff, plus all the people who walk and ride here for pleasure. It's good to be back. And now, back to the studio. Centuries ago, a local mill stream had a bridge over it. When the watercourse from Penn Hill to the Taff got covered over, the bridge served no further purpose and disappeared. The name Pont Cana recalls what was once there. Bridges are important human landmarks. They link tracts of land, opening new routes for travel. They become meeting places. Industries and towns spring up nearby. The usefulness of Blackweir Bridge didn't become evident until it was closed. Routes to work, shop or play needed rethinking. Whenever a busy bridge closes for repair, it causes upheaval locally. Small and simple or massive and imposing, Practical and convenient, or a symbol of power and status. Bridges are where trade deals and treaties get made, taxes paid, borders enforced. They're fought over, built and rebuilt in war and peace. In good times, bridges are where friends hang out, where lovers meet, where kids play, where tourists stop to admire the view. Think how South Wales has changed since two bridges were built over the Severn Estuary. Googling bridges in the Bible identifies no bridges at all. Texts are found about crossing gulfs of separation, not about human constructions. In Bible lands, rivers were crossed at shallow places. The Jordan fords are mentioned several times, and the Jabbok ford too. If bridges existed then, they had no name, no status. Back in the Bronze Age, people put stone piers in marshland and laid walkways on them of wooden planks. Wide rivers were crossed by boat. Then Imperial Greek and Roman engineers built lasting stone bridges. Yet, when Christians speak about relationships, we speak of bridging the gulf of separation between parties estranged from each other, or who don't know each other at all and should. The action of reaching out, of joining up with others, making a connection, making peace. Bridge building, we call it, is at the heart of the teaching of Jesus. He'd have known about bridges, but the activity of bridging was what mattered not the useful construction and all it represents. God made the first move to bridge the gulf between himself and us, coming to us in Jesus. We see Jesus reach out to the lost and isolated with healing, pardon, friendship, bridging the gulf of isolation. Jesus' crucified body is the bridge between God and humankind. Think of the bridging activities that are part of your life since lockdown and well before. Making and sustaining relationships. Have any of those bridges been closed? If so, why? What needs to happen to change this? Are we ready to respond when others make the first move towards us? Or is this something we can do and need to do? Any reopenings we make will be a source of blessing and give glory to our Lord and Maker.